Hey, 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 good morning guys and gals. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about doing virtual sound checks using the XLive card as well as your DAW, okay? Now, for the XLive card, guys, we're going to be talking about the SD slash SDHC cards, okay? So the SD cards are pretty well uh, went the way of the Dodo. Uh, they could only hold two gigs, and then you have the SDHC, which is the high capacity. Okay. Now you are limited to 32 gigs, according to this manual. This is the manual for the X Live card. I highly suggest you go to Behringer website, download it, and you read it. You'll find a lot of good information over here to the left on what the drop-down menu means for the, uh, you know, the 16 ins and outs, the 32 ins, the 8 outs, and uh, then the 2 ins and the 2 outs, okay? So let's go ahead and jump up there and let's dig into a little bit more about these uh, SDHC cards. Because people are using larger cards. They're formatting them, and that's what we need to talk about. Uh, these cards have to be in the FAT32 format, okay? So let's go up there and uh, let's do some rooting around and we'll see just exactly what we need to do on this particular part of the video, okay? Because you have to start here, guys. If you don't have it formatted properly, you're not going to be able to record on it, all right? So here we are, guys, and all I did was just Google SD uh, forward slash SDHC memory cards. And, you know, here's the difference, and this is where I get my information from, uh, the high capacity up to 32 gigabytes of data, okay? Now, why was it 32 gigs? When Behringer designed this, uh, you know, for people using Windows, that's as large of a disk that you can format in the FAT32 format, okay, if that makes sense. So there are programs out there. And you can use those programs to literally format a larger disk. So we're going to look at one right up here. And this is a scan disk, 128 gigabyte Extreme Pro SDHC. Okay. Now, class 10 memory card. That's what you want. You want these class 10 cards because of their writing speeds. Okay. And that's what it is. When you do this, the, the worst thing you can do is, you know, if you have a power outage in your recording, that's why the X Live card takes a battery. It'll keep recording that file. If you don't put that battery in, power goes out, whatever you're recording, whatever has not been written is gone. Okay? So keep that in mind. I believe, I want to say uh, up there in the community, somebody said they were using a 256 gig, I think had two of them, you know, and they had up to almost like a, a 11 hours and, and 48 minutes worth of recording time. So, you know, if you decide this is what you want to do, uh, if you want to exceed that 32 gigs, you know, do your own homework, find a card, but it needs to be the class 10 memory card. Okay. Now, as far as formatting, you know, how do you format it? Guys, all I did was go up to Google again and just Googled. Okay, how to format, uh, right up here, how to format a disk to FAT32. And then this is the particular website that I found right here, and I was reading through it, and you're going to have to do the same. And you'll see, you know, the, the, the programs you can use to do this. Uh, before it was just with the Mac, and then people started coming out with these programs to where you can format a larger disk, uh, larger than 32 gigs. To, uh, to the FAT32 format, okay? And you should be able to drop these in your uh, X32 Live card and use them with no problem, all right? So let's go ahead and jump down to X32 Edit. Okay, guys, so what I've done is I've uh, patched my drum machine uh, left and right into channel 18 and 19, and I did this for a reason. I want to show you something here when we go through it. And uh, right now, I'm going to let me pull this down right here. i got an open mic. And let's just go ahead and listen to what this is going to sound like.
Okay, so what I've done, and I did this just to make the uh, video here a little bit shorter, is I went ahead and recorded this uh, same drum sound using the uh, live SD recorder, as well as recording it into uh, Reaper so I could do the playback there. And this is some things we want to look at right here. Number one, as you can see, the SD card number one is protected. That's that little slot on the side of your card to where when you raise it up, it will protect that data. Okay. Here is your selection card. Okay. SD card one. Uh, there's one session. Uh, here is where I just did the recording this morning. So, you know, here's the playback. If you're going to play back from your uh, SD card, then you've got to have this playback selected. Now, if you remember when I told you I had this on channel 18 and 19 over here, okay, when you record this, if I came down here, and, and I actually tried this, guys, I had eight channels selected, no recording. 16 channels selected, no recording. So I've got to check this 32 channel because of channels 18 and 19 is past that 16 channel. So I'm going to assume uh, 8 channels is 1 through 8, uh, 16 is 1 through 16, and then of course the uh, 32 is 1 through 32 channels. Okay, so what happens when we hit play now? We're, we're on playback, we're on the SD card. Look right over here on the drum left, you'll see it says gain. Okay, because that is a direct plug-in. So let's hit play and see what happens. Okay, guys, so as you can clearly see, we're getting signal coming through there. We're getting the playback that we're looking for. Okay, now when I was over here clicking on the plus sign, this simply puts in markers over here. As you can see, marker number two lights up over here on the right. Over here, marker number one lines up right here. And this is so you can sit there and go back and listen. You know, you could put a marker in in between each song, in between each sets. It's just a fast way for you to be able to go back and find out exactly where you were okay now I want to show you something up here in routing again if you notice when we do our playback nothing's changed over here this still says gain okay so when we click over on our routing you'll see that nothing's changed over here on our inputs or our card okay now if I come back over here to input and channel 17 through 24 and I move this over to this card slot Watch this gain change the trim. Okay, because now it's expecting that signal to come from the card. That is the input. Remember, that's the input source. Okay, and that's what we're going to change to make this audio come in from Reaper. So if we wanted to, you know, and, and this is where we're going to get into our doll now. So when we go over to routing, we need to say our card. Okay, we're going to bring that in through channel 17 and 24. That's our blocks of eight, guys. Okay, now we've got to come back to our recorder. And now we've got to say our playback is going to be from the USB interface. It's not going to be from the XLive SD cards now. Okay, so once we do that, let's go ahead and bring up Reaper. And let's go ahead and listen to that. Okay, guys, so as you can see, there's just a couple things that you have to do with that routing. Okay, if you're going to play from the computer, from your DAW, you've got to go to your input source. Now, if I was doing all 32 channels, my card input would look like that. Okay, but like I said, I just recorded these, uh, this drum machine on channel uh, 18 and 19. Therefore, that is the only block that I need to be fed from my card okay and I'm going to go ahead and put this back and that way my inputs are correct my card 
as you can see right here if I come back up to the recorder and I go playback SD card and we go back up to our routing nothing's changed okay now one last note I want to make and I don't know why I think it's a bug in the uh, new firmware when I turn on and off my X32 edit and connect to my X32 rack, sometimes it will not see these cards. They come up blank. I have to actually go in behind the rack and just push the card in, let it pop out, push it back in, and do the same thing. And then all of a sudden, it will read these cards. Okay? Like always, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Come up there and see us, X32 rack users. Uh, on Facebook. All right. Take care. God bless. And we are out of here.